it's a pretty hard section. It's a pretty hard concept because you just have to be careful with the notation. So I just want to caution you on it and make sure that you take good notes and ask questions if you if you need help. Let's pretend that that I asked you to take the derivative of something like this equation. Um, actually, let's let's say I was taking the derivative of x to the fourth. You know, hopefully you guys you guys got this one right. You you know that this is four x to the third. But what happens when we take the derivative with respect to x of y to the fourth? In that case, we would have four y cubed times y prime, or another way of writing it would be four y cubed times dy dx because of that that notation for y prime. All of that's really great. So what happens when I change the new variable and I introduce a variable that's not part of the equation? So I introduce a variable like time. We're not doing any new rules, but we are going to have a little, it's going to be a little bit more like when we're differentiating y to the fourth with respect to x. Notice that the variables don't match on this one either. I'm differentiating with respect to time. So this actually becomes 4x to the third times dx dt. So I didn't change the power rule. The power rule stays the same. The quotient rule, the product rule, all those things stay the same. But I am going to have to use the chain rule on this and differentiate that, that variable that doesn't match. So it would be the kind of thing, let's say I gave you a volume equation like um, something like, um, let me think, if I gave you, actually let me give you an area equation. So let's say I gave you an area equation, um, pi times the radius squared, and and I said something like, okay, take this equation and differentiate it with respect to time. What we would have is we'd have dA over dt is equal to pi times 2r dr dt. So when you think about what each of these pieces are, this one right there is the rate of change of area with respect to time. This one is the rate of change because it's a rate it's a it's a derivative of the radius with respect to time. The r alone is just the radius. So we can differentiate any equation using a new variable and in related rates we use the variable time which will rarely if ever be a part of the equation, so you're always going to have that extra piece. Um, you're always going to be have those DADTs and DRDTs. And so um, I'll do a couple of examples and hopefully it'll make a little more sense. Um, but I'm going to do that on a separate video in just a second.